dogs out onto our nice newly painted deck. You guys gonna go for a run? There you go. That's it. That's not all of you. Where's the rest of you? Don't you want to go for a run up the deck? Come on. Let's go for a run up the deck. <laughs> Come on. see you. Come on. That's the way. <laughs> G'day guys. Welcome back. Look what I've got. I've got another round of these geode coaster and tray sets um i did import another hundred or actually i had them it's my design i had them made um in gray and they sold out so i've got another hundred that have just arrived yesterday this is like an off-white sort of a beige creamy color um and they are just amazing i must say now I've only got, like I said, I've only got another hundred and um, I'm not going to get any more of these in because I've got a new design coming. So one, two, three, four, five, six coasters with a geode edge and then a matching tray. So you don't have to do the tray. You can just do the coasters if you want to, um, or you can just do the tray and not the coasters, or you can just do everything, which is what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to do like a marble look. Now, inspired totally by the lovely Devony. Hey, Devony, check out her YouTube channel. So, inspired by her to do this marble look. But before I get started, I'm just going to show you this previous one I did using the same mold. That's it there. And you can see that they're, you know, separate pieces. So, these were my teal and um, gold. So, that's the tray. And that's how they just sit together. So, yeah, that's it. Oh, the other thing I want to show you, I'll just pack this up for a minute, is pick up my tray. <laughs> Where will I put you? I'll put you over there. Now, this is a great idea. If you're doing a big piece of resin and you haven't really got anything to cover it with, grab yourselves um, one of your canvases that's lying around. This has still got its plastic on it. And then just put these big push pins underneath it. The, the plastic's good because you don't get any little bits of dust, you know, underneath. Um, and you can just wipe it over. And then that's really good just to cover your, your work. All right, I mean, a box is ideal, but um, my box, oh, my clear box, I don't think it's gonna fit. No, <laughs> so I'll just um, cover it with this once we're done. Right, let's get to this. Let me get my gloves on. I've got my big jar of resin sitting there. I mixed it for five minutes. You can see there's no bubbles in there at all. This is the Barnes Clarity. I've still got lots left, so using it up. Something in there. Um, so basically, white, gray, and clear. Just put this onto the side for a minute. So the white I'm using is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And then the gray, I'll use that and put a little bit of black ink in it. I think the ink will be really nice to give it that sort of flowy look. Um, I may even put a little bit of white ink in with my white as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get started. I'm gonna just pour some, this is just plain clear into one cup. Now the grey, I only want probably half a cup. Because, well not even that, it's just, just a little, you know, a hint of grey. And then I want a lot of white, so I've got two cups here of the white. And the reason I'm doing it in two cups is I don't want to fill them up too much because if there's a lot of resin in, and it's, it's you know, a, a large amount, 
um, it's likely to set up pretty quickly so we'll just start with that I need a wipe a bit of baby wipe clean up as I go it's much easier to clean up now than it is later okay so that's my clear my gray and my two whites so I'm not sure how much to use let's just put a little blob in I don't want them to be totally totally it's two blobs one two blobs I have no idea how much to use we won't know until it's mixed up but um, I, I kind of want it to be a little bit um, transparent not too opaque I'll just keep adding until I get the color that I I want so that's still very opaque isn't a uh, very very transparent so this is a stage where if you don't want to watch me mixing this is a good idea if you want to fast forward now would be the time to do it but um, if you're anything like me and you're learning I love to watch people add you know their colors because then I know how much to use so so that's another two drops so that's four drops now if you don't have artist loft white that's fine look you can use some um, you could use mica I just didn't want it to be too um, like shimmery because I want it to be a marble and this is what Devony does she used this and I totally see why because she you know you don't want marble to be shimmery it just wanted to be like a block color I think I'll go with five Five's my, my number. I like five. Five and two. So my birthday is two. Whoops, that one's got more than this one. So, um, yeah, five drops. Big drops. <laughs> and hopefully that will be enough. I may not even have enough white, actually. I've still got this. So I may need to add, like, do another cup of white. But at least I'll know what to do with the next one. And it's still a little bit on the transparent side but yeah I don't want it to be too block color because I want the the gray to kind of show through and to kind of mix and blend and look look kind of natural so I don't think marble is like a pure white is it it's more like a I don't know it seems to have other colors in it right so this is going to be my gray and I've only got like half the amount in there so let's just start with two Actually, we'll do one, two, three. I think you guys all need another one. So I'm going six with you guys. I hope that's not too much. I'm going to write this down. Um, six drops, two drops. I'll write it down in my journal so I know what to do next time. If I want to do the same thing, I write everything down. And this is why I started videoing actually because then I could remember what I was doing okay that's looking good that's six drops but yeah you could use um any white I, did I, I sort of got sidetracked didn't I um, titanium white make it an opaque color um, what have I got we've got the artist loft I've got Amsterdam got studio acrylic I've got Liquitex basics I've got lots of different brands of white now what did this one have was it two or three oh, I can't remember now I wrote two down was it three I think maybe did I do three in this one and six in the others oh my gosh I've forgotten already okay that's really still transparent maybe I only did two let's do three you're probably yelling at me. That's four now. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna write down three. I'll watch back the video and um, and see what I did. So those bigger cups have got six drops. Hopefully the little one's got three. And let's do. This is just the pinata alcohol ink in the black. I better shake it. I'm sorry if this video is gonna be a bit long. I'm up to, yeah, oh well. I shouldn't worry about it, should I? Let's do, we'll just see what one drop looks like first. Because you can always add more, hey, can't take it back. Okay. 
Okay, no, I'm not really liking that. It's a little bit too pale and I don't think there's enough white in there still. All right, let's do one more black because the when the, the grey mixes with the white, it's going to lighten anyway. Like with the rest of the white that's in there, it's going to lighten anyway. So we've just got to be careful not to make it too light. I haven't put my alcohol ink in the white yet. That'll make a difference too, won't it? What do we think of that colour? It's probably still a little on the light side. Uh, let's put some alcohol ink in. That's the white pinata. Blanco. Give it a good shake. And let's do three drops. One, two, three. One, two, three. And just to make it equal, we'll go three with the black. So everyone's got three. I'll go and write that down in a minute. Hope that's not too much black now. But like I said, the, the grey is going to blend with the white. And then if it's too light, it's just going to get lost, isn't it? Okay, that's looking better, isn't it? More grey-like. That's sitting there. Make sure that my resin's not getting too hot. I'll start to set up because this is a big, big cup. It is getting warm. Okay, that's made it more white now. I like that. It's not totally, totally opaque though. So I like that. So that was six drops of Artist Loft paint and three drops of pinata alcohol ink. I think I'm going to have to make another cup full though. I don't think I'm going to have enough. I'll put you on pause and I'll make it up and then I'll come back to you. But let's get pouring with this first because it's starting to warm up. I like that grey. Okay, let's do this. Exciting. Uh, I'll talk to you about the, what I'm going to do with the gold a bit later on. So let's just, I'm just going to pour some in on all of them. No sort of rhyme or reason. Just pour some in. <laughs> That's my first cup gone, skis already. Let's put that there. I can make up another one. I will need to make up another one. It's not going to be enough. And you need a little bit more. Okay, so that's that one done. And now let's just pour in a little bit of the grey. Not too much. I probably should have put this in a smaller cup, hey? I might have made up too much grey, I'm not sure. But I didn't want to be short. Alright, so that's the grey going in. Wipe my hands. Now I'm just going to pour some clear in to kind of mix those in a little bit. And um, fill them up a bit. Fill up my cup again. There's a little bit left. I'm keeping some just in case I need to make up some more white. I think I've got enough grey. What do you think? I think I've got enough grey in there. Right, now let's pour in some more of the white. Oh, I didn't put my sticks under my board. Hang on, I need to get my sticks. Where did I put them? Oh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? <clears throat> There's another 
two sticks. I've obviously moved them. Oh no, they're under there. I can see it poking out. It's under there. Right. Now I'm up to white. Right, so I haven't got much white left. I'm going to need to make up another, another cup of white. So let's do that. And I'm going to do the same as I did before. Same amount. Hopefully I can remember. I'm going to have to pinch some of my clear from my other cup. Scrape it all out. I have about the same amount that I had last time. That's about it. And then I've got a little bit of clear left. So that's all done. Finish that one. Right. Um, I'll just put you on pause while I make up that other white. Right, made up another white. I haven't got enough resin. Actually, before I do that, let's torch. I'm going to see how I go with this little embossing tool. It's not too hot. Let me see if it'll actually pop bubbles or not. So I don't want to burn my mould. So it doesn't pop them as well. I'm probably going to have to go over it quite a few times, but I am sort of blending the colours as I'm going. I better pick that cord up, hadn't I, before I get it in my resin. So what are you thinking of the marbling look so far? Do you like it? Yeah, that's not really, it's not really much chop. It's not really doing it. I'm going to have to do it with my little creme brulee torch, but I'll just go really quickly. I'm not stay in one spot for too long. Pick any hairs out if you've found any bits of hair and fluff. The bubbles will rise to the surface and they sort of come to the centre because with resin everything wants to come to the centre. So they will come to the centre. So if you see any bits of hair and fluff and stuff, take them out now before you put your gold on the top. I'm going to put gold on the top but I'll show you that in, in a little while once I've done all this. I'm hoping it's looking like marble, marble-like. I'm going to need to give it a, put some more white on anyway, fill it up and give it a bit of a, a swirl. All right. This is quite warm in here. I don't know if it's because of the Artist Loft paint. Last time I used Artist Loft paint, <laughs> did you see my grey one? It, um, it actually hardened up and started smoking. So that was, that was an experience, I can tell you. It was one of my earlier days using resin. I had no idea resin could even do that. I was just shocked. Right, let's put some more white in. This one's almost full, but I want to put a little bit more in. Got some clear areas there in the corners, which I don't really want. I just have to make sure I'm keeping enough for everybody. Make sure everyone's got enough. Okay. Now, where was that little clear corner? Don't want clear, do we? Because marble is not clear. Mm. Now, I'm just having a little look and see which one needs a little bit more. I only made up 600 and, what was it, 640 grams I made up, so may actually need to put in a little bit more to bring them up to the full height, but I couldn't 
didn't really fit any more in my jug. So I've still got a little bit of clear and I've got a little bit more grey. So I don't know that I want to put any more grey in those ones. I like that. This one needs a bit more grey just sort of here. And you can have a little bit more grey. So it's kind of layered to make it look a bit more natural, I guess. with the colours. I shouldn't really be putting any more in. I'm just I'm adding it because it's here. But uh, I don't really want to put any more in. So that's enough with the grey. Got a little bit more clear left. I'm just going to kind of put that in there. Just to break up that grey. on all of them a little bit more clear and then I'll torch again and scrape that out I may even make up a little bit more and um, make it into white. I just think it needs a little bit more white. Now I'm going to use my, my big heat gun, this one, just to kind of blow the... Whoops, we're not working. Why aren't we working? Oh, unplugged. <laughs> just to kind of blow it around a bit. No, it's on high just to kind of blow it. But hopefully not blow it right out. to blend those colours a bit. Just got to be careful not to blow it right out. On high seems to work better. <laughs> Alrighty. Yay! Oh my gosh, I love that. Look at the marbling through there. Wow. Alright, now a little heat. Pop some bubbles. Yeah, the for me the heat gun just doesn't do it. I, I need the blowtorch to pop bubbles. This is running out of butane. All right, I'll let it sit for a bit and I'll come back and pop some more bubbles because they do come to the surface. Oh, loving that! Oh my gosh, you guys! Wowzers! All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, do, I want, do I want to make up any more white? Oh, look at this. I've got some down here. Mm, you probably can't see it, but I've got some clear around the edges there. just need to break that up a bit. I don't want clear on my edges. Okay. Oh, loving it. All right. I may make up some more white and just pour some more white in while it's still soft, just a little bit. Um, I'll come back to you soon. Righto, it has been half an hour. And... I don't know if you can see this, but if I sort of do that line across the top, it's it's leaving like a, a sticky line, and then it, when I lift it up, it leaves like that long trail behind it. So it's set enough, I think, for me to do the next step. This end one here, gee, it's quite hot. Ooh, toasty. <laughs> mm hmm. I guess it's resin's doing its thing, you know, it's setting, but it does feel quite warm. So. I'm not going to wait until it's hard. I'm just going to put the handles in. Um, yeah, and I guess they'll sink, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It'll just do what it wants to do. That one can go there. Whoops, there's a bubble. Pop. 
little bit will cover I guess and oh look we're still going to have a little bit showing so that'll be nice let's cover that over there's a bubble I guess a little bit of air got trapped underneath it when I put it down okay so that's that oops there's more bubbles go figure Actually, I probably should have slid them in because, yeah, it must have, but um, it's trapping air underneath it, isn't it? There's another one. Oh my gosh. A little bit of transparency there. You can see that. See the bit of the, the base of that. Okay, that's that's nice. I like that. It shows a little bit of that base there. Now, gee, that's warm. It's because it's got a, a pocket underneath it. That's why it's kind of like that, but there's nothing I can do about that. I can't like fill it up with resin. Now I'm going to make, try and make sure it's even. I can still move them around a little bit later if I need to. Just make sure it's even there. Sure is setting up fast. That one's covering more than this one. I guess it'll move over. It's almost... Totally covered now. Right, we're about the same distance apart. Mm -hmm. I guess so. It's hard to tell really unless I get the tape measure out and actually measure it. But look, I think it's, I think it's fine. Right now, the next step, <clears throat> I'm going to use um, this Krylon Gold, 18 karat gold, premium metallic paint. Now I have been shaking it for the last two minutes and I'm going to spray it into my little cup and then I'm going to use this pop stick to make some lines. So that's what I'm going to do and because I'm inside, obviously, I'm not going to go outside to do this, I'm just going to put my little respirator mask on, okay, while I'm spraying it. Oops, wrong way up with the metal at the top so you can bend it over your nose so um, I might be a little bit muffled but I'm just going to spray the paint into the cup okay so that's what I'm going to do make sure I'm still taping yes all right make sure that's nice and tight over my nose and I'm going to I'm going to sort of uh, I better move it away because I don't want to get it on my resin so I'm just going to move it over here Spray some in. See? I don't think I need very much. Put the lid back on. Okay. Now let's see if this is going to work. Put a little bit on the end of my stick. Um, wipe the excess off. Because I only want a tiny bit. Let's see if I can do this, hey? Let's see, I'll start over here on the corner where it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, it's, it's starting to pull. The resin's starting to pull. So I'll do what Devony did. She kind of did a little line and then lifted and a line and then lifted so that um, it wasn't sticking too much. I'm going to leave the end of the... The um, little bit of resin still on there. I think that'll be fine. I mean, I guess you could wait until it was totally dry and then just paint your gold on. I guess you could do that too, couldn't you? You just got to be careful not to like lift it too much because it's going to pull. This is going to take me a while. <laughs> I'm sure as I get better at it, it won't take me quite as long. Hello, how's that? Hmm. I haven't left it too, too long now. Oops tricky to it's getting a little bit sticky so just 
going to do the best I can. I guess maybe if it gets too too sort of sticky, I can always just come back once once it's dry, hey, and just paint it on. See how it's lifting. Mm -hmm. Might be better just to come back later once it's totally dry. I don't know. Oh, what pers persist. By the time I get to up there, because it's going to take me so long, by the time I get up there, it's going to be dry. <laughs> I'll just do a little bit on all of them for now. I can always come back later, I guess. I might have left it a bit long. It's kind of pulling up. Let's get some more paint. Hang on. Mm, see how sticky it's getting? I should just wait because... It's, it's getting sticky, but look, I'm, you know me, I'm not very patient, but I think I should because it's starting to just do a little bit more on this one and then I'll stop. Yeah, it's just, I don't want to push too hard. Whoops. But then I don't want to push, you know, I have to sort of push hard enough, but I don't want to push too hard. Those little bits that go over the edges, I'll just wipe them up later on. Now, this is getting quite sticky in here. I think I need a new cup. And a new stick. Because the resin was setting up. So I think I need, you know, the resin was in here and it was getting quite sticky. So I'll just change to a fresh cup and a fresh stick and see if I can just sort of skim over the top. Let's go over this one again. Oops. It's a bit thick there. I think it takes a bit more practice than, oh, it's harder than it looks. Harder than it looks, I must say. All right, I think I'm going to wait because it's just um, it's it's dragging. So I'm going to wait until it's it's dry, and and then I'll I'll do some more. But um, let's have a little look at it anyway for now. Oops, ring light's annoying, isn't it? So there we go, loving the effects in it. So that's what I've done so far. It's, it's not the best. I think I need Devony to come over and help me. Come to Australia, Devony. So we're getting some gorgeous, gorgeous marbling effect. I really like that. And there's my handle. So there we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait till it's set. And then I'll just better paint them on and I won't have to worry about it being too sticky. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So see you soon.
So you can see on the surface there how it's beautiful and shiny, that gold. Um, and I will paint the edges in, in the same gold as well. Okay, so we've got some beautiful feathering happening there. You look at that gold, uh, not the gold, don't look at the gold, <laughs> look at the grey and the white underneath. It's really pretty. Any suggestions on, um, on the gold lines or maybe you think they're okay, I, I don't know. I haven't really done this. I did one very long time ago that's it there kind of managed to get quite thin lines by the time i was finished i painted the sides gold this has kind of gone more of a yellow this it's actually gone a kind of a yellowish color you probably can't pick it up there but um yeah that was probably better but then i did that while the resin was still wet so maybe that's the trick, doing it while it's wet. Don't know. All right, I'll leave it there um, and I'll just let it sit overnight and then um, I'll demold in the morning. All right, see you then. Good morning. It's the next day and it's all dry. I must say, I am a little bit disappointed with my efforts with the gold. I put up a picture on, on a couple of Facebook groups and said, you know, what do you think? <laughs> and I do agree with the comments that, you know, the lines are too thick and there's too many of them and they're too straight. But, hey, I'm, I'm learning. So this is how you learn. Like, if you don't do it, how do you know what to do next time? Hey guys, I decided I wanted to go again with this gold veining and yes, I could have just poured another one and I, I will do, but I wanted to see if I could save this because this is a lot of resin. This is 800 grams. So I got my little Alco swabs. Um, I'll, just, I'll just grab them. These guys that I got from the, the pharmacy. Um, yeah, just tear them open. They've got little Alco swabs in there. And I rubbed off all the lines. Well, as many as I could anyway. There's a few left where they kind of dug in a little bit. The resin must have been softer. So what I'm going to do, I'm putting these all back in again. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, <laughs> finding where they belong. Um, nope. <laughs> So basically, I'm going to pour another coat of resin over these, but I'm going to use a doming resin because if I just use my normal casting resin, it's just going to lie flat. It's probably just going to go over the edges. But if I use a doming resin, it'll make a little mound and hopefully it'll keep um, the resin on these coasters and tray. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mix up some more resin. And while it's still wet, I'm going to have another go at the veining. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Back in a minute. Righto, I have my resin. Now, this resin, as I said, is a doming resin. It's much thicker than the resin I used when I poured this. Uh, this is what it is. It's called Epoxy Glass by Barnes almost out but um, this is what I use like to coat um, placemats and things like that as I said a dome so it doesn't just lay flat um, it has a little bit of a longer working time as well than the resin I used for this because you know how this one started setting up so I thought oh, I better use something that's you know has a little bit longer so it's got 50 minutes so it's probably going to take me a while to spread the resin over all of these. I've got my little palette knife. I'm just a bit worried that um, it's because it's already up to the top. I'm not sure whether it's going to go over or not. If I have trouble, I might have to actually take each piece out and lay it on a little cup and then pour over it. 
um, but I'll see how we go. I'll see how we go. Um, I printed this off the internet. It's just, it's like, um, it's white marble and it's got gold veining on it. So when I look at that, I can see where I went wrong with my veining. So this is very delicate. It's kind of like, <clears throat> like, like human veins, I guess, you know, blood vessels and veins. It's sort of spiders out everywhere. So I'm going to have a, a go at maybe creating something a little bit more like that, but not as much. But anyway, let's get started. I'm going to do one and then I'm going to put the video on. I'm going to pause you and then bring you back when I'm done because this is going to take me a long time, I think. To try and get to all the edges. Without, hopefully without going over. Mm, it's going to be very tricky. What I might have to do is just <clears throat> don't worry too much about going over and then I'll have a little bit of sanding to do. I guess that's going to be easier than trying to get into all of these little crevices, but I'll try my best. And uh, you know, like I said, I could have, and I still will, pour another one of these, but um, I didn't want to waste the 800 grams of resin that I've put into this. I think the resin's going to go down that little crease, that little crack there between the um, the coaster and the the mould. There's a little gap there. It's not sealed tight anymore, is it? it? Looks as if it's working though. Like I'm able to put down a layer. What I'll do is I'll just push it into all of these, and then I'll get my baby wipe and I'll go around and clean up the edges. Oops, there's a hair. There's a hair, get out, get out. Oh, I haven't got my um, paper towels out. Oh my gosh. Right, so I'll just finish this one. Um, I'll take it down and we'll see if we can see if it's doming. Right, so that's that one's done. How long did that take me? <laughs> Times that by seven. And that's how long it's going to take me, I guess, to do the. Righto, I'm done. I have a look across the top of it. I don't think I've missed anything. I uh, can't really get up there. Let's have a look. So if you have a look across the top, if you've got light shining on it, on your piece, have a look across the top. Make sure you haven't missed any. There's no bald section. See how it's mounding? You can actually see the edges there. It's making that little dome, not mounding, doming, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, just check the whole thing, make sure that you haven't missed anything. Can you see any bits of mist? Mm, I think we're all good. All right, we're ready to do the veining. Let's hope I can do this justice now. It looks amazing with the top coat. This is a going to be a long video isn't it there's a lot of stop and starting uh, I just put my respirator mask on and I sprayed my paint in there same paint as before now I've got some resin left I'm going to put some in here and I'm going to do a little practice so it's taken me 25 minutes I've got a little bit of clear left actually I might put that in my Um, pyramid mold. Just going to pour that in there. Probably can't see it a bit off off center there, but actually, I don't want to use all that. I might keep a little bit of that. Just keep a little bit of that, and I'll just swish this around. My last layer was blue, as you can see from my. Um, splash bowl that I made and then a bit of clear and I'll give that a torch and put it over there to set give it a torch you can't really torch these those cheap white molds very well these ones they um yeah they, they really stick one set that I, I used once and then I had to throw it out it was no good right 
let's try this. So, um, yeah, this, this has been sitting now for 30 minutes. So I've got another 20 before my work time is up. Keep that little bit of resin in there. Hopefully it'll be all right. All right, let's see if I can do this. Now, I'm just going to, what about if I just dip that in and then wipe the side? Is that going to be enough? No. I don't want a blob though. Oh, look, it's spreading. Okay. Just as well I didn't do it on that. The resin's obviously too thin still, uh, too runny. Um, I'm actually going to I'm going to try something. I'm going to put some resin in with the gold. A little bit. See if maybe that'll kind of thicken it up and keep it together. I have no idea. I just don't want to do this um, unless I can get it right. You know, maybe I won't even do it. I don't know. No, it's still spreading. It's not as bad. I'm going to put the rest of the resin in this. Yeah, you can see. Anyway, I'm just going to go for it because I'm, you know, I don't want the same thing to happen in the last one where it sets up too much. So I'm just going to give it a stir. I'm going to wipe the sides. Whatever stays on the bottom stays on the bottom. Oh my gosh, wish me luck. I'm going to go over here first because this is where I've already got some lines. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely nerve-wracking. I'm going to come around this side. I'll do I'll do a little bit and then I'm just going to fast forward it. I'm basically just trying to follow that line that I've already got. Oops. And I must remember to kind of make them a little bit more bit softer. Now that's that one's quite thick, so I'm gonna just oh there's a hair on it. That one's a bit thick, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and um, kind of use it. <laughs> Spread it a little bit, kind of use it a little bit. <laughs> so that I'm not putting too much more on. I'm just kind of using what I've already got and kind of Spreading it out a bit, you know. And I guess because the resin's wet, hopefully, well, not wet, but it's still soft. Um, hopefully, it might sort of thin out a little bit more. That's, that's just following what I had before. I kind of have to keep following that. But um, at least it's not as thick as it was. I'm going to try not to put too much on my little stick. Just use what I've already got there. Because you can still see underneath from the original one. So I don't want to put too much on. Just enhance what I've already got there, really. I don't know. <laughs> How's that looking? Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I'm going to just, I'm going to stop the camera and I'll fast forward the rest. That way I can sort of take my time.
All done. Oh my gosh. That was hard. <laughs> um, I think I probably could have left it another 10 minutes, my resin. I should have left it at the 50 minute mark with this particular resin. But, um, you know, unless you do it, you don't know. But look, it's, it's a vast improvement on my first effort, I think. I think it's much more natural looking. There's some thicker lines. There's some thinner lines. The resin, as it's because it's still soft, it's still kind of spreading. The gold's kind of spreading a little bit. But um, I think it's it's so much improved on my first effort anyway. It's still not perfect. Um, I do want to do another one. Actually, I want to do a couple. I want to do a pink and gold one. I want to do a black and silver one. So lots I want to do. So watch this space. But um, yeah, if you guys want to grab this mold while it's still available, please do so. I'd love to see what you can create with it. And um, I'll be making more. Right, I'll wait for this to dry and I've got to wait another day and then I'll unmold it and uh, we'll see what it looks like. But uh, so far, I'm really happy with it. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon. Hey guys, the time has finally come. The unmolding. <laughs> well, this has been this has been a journey, this one, hasn't it? That's for sure. Right, let's get it out and then I'm going to do the edges with my Krylon 18 karat gold pen. So I think that'll be nice and easy, relatively easy to use because there's such a lot of edges to be done. Right, now it should just pop out really easily because I have, as you know, taken it out once before and then put everything back to do the flood coat but it should still all just pop out nice and easily look at that beautiful right let's have a little look hey now I don't know what um, setting I need to be on to focus this for you maybe not that one how about autofocus No, I don't think that's focusing. Oh, that's better. That's better. Uh, okay, now, uh, one thing I did notice, when I put these lines on, they were relatively, like, thin. But because the resin was still wet, they have actually moved a little bit and, and spread. So I don't know, do you, do you like that or do you prefer it to be just more of a, a thin line without that sort of wispiness? And I'm talking about the gold here. That's the back. Also looks amazing. You know, if you choose not to, to do gold veining, you could just leave it plain like that. Just looks amazing still. But um, I, I personally like the gold, a little bit of shimmer, especially when we get the edges done in gold so that's the edges there looks really pretty that's the back all right I'll get it done quickly hey this video is just going on and on and on but look at that amazing feathering we've got in there <laughs> she says as she says let's get a wriggle on but look at the amazing feathering the lacing that we've got in there from the the gray it's really pretty I don't know. I think maybe I do like it like that. I don't know. I just had in my mind that it needed to just be like thin little lines. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Should it be just thin lines? Now this was this top row here was the one that um, I couldn't get all the gold off. So I had to follow the original lines. So I don't think they're as good. But still, still really pretty. I mean, you're not going to look at them and go, oh, those don't look exactly the same as the other three on the other side. But, um, you know, I did my best. And this one's got a little bit of edging on it because um, I edged it and then thought, nah, I want to redo it. <laughs> so I love the sound they make. <laughs> and there's that other little corner one. Amazing little wispiness there. 
So um, did you like the actual marbling side of the video? Did you enjoy that? Let's get the tray out. Out you come. There you go. Pop yourself out. Amazing. Oh, it's quite heavy. Now this tray <clears throat> takes about, well, the whole mould. If you do the whole mould up to the top, it's going to take about 800 grams of resin. And that's about 28 ounces. And that'll take it right up to the top. Beautiful lines. Look at that. Nice and straight. Now the other thing, if you're doing a tray, make sure you don't take it out too early. Um, because it'll, it'll tend to like bend like that. So if you do want to take it out, maybe put a weight on it so that it doesn't bend. But look at that. Don't you love that handle? It looks so pretty, wasn't it? I just got this from Bunnings, these handles. This is my local hardware store. So check out your local hardware store, whichever country you're in. And you can also order them like on eBay and Amazon, <clears throat> all that sort of thing. So there it is. That's the back. You can see the where the handles pop through. I like to put the handles in when it's still wet, but you know, that way at least I can move them around. <laughs> um, and you can still pick it up. You know, look at that. You can still pick it up. So no problems. All right, I'm going to edge these. Um, <clears throat> let's just do one first. I'll show you how I do one and then I'll go and do the rest of them. And... You don't need to see me do them all, do you? Let's do this little one. Right now, oops, now I'm going to have to maybe focus a little bit better for you. Are we going to focus? Because sometimes it wants to focus on what's in the background, you see. So, I've got another gold pen coming, it's by um, Decor Color. I've ordered so hopefully that one will give slightly better coverage I mean it's it's good you can see my little bubbles <laughs> my bubbles along the side which got trapped and I didn't get them all out but yeah I probably should pour a little bit and torch pour a little bit more and torch because or run a, a, a little bamboo skewer you know along the edges because the bubbles like getting trapped along your edges And with this pen, if you see that's a little bit tricky to get in there, you can just push like that and it'll bring a drop of paint out. Sorry about this, I've not been able to focus. Hang on, how about if I move, I'll move the mould because it's trying to focus on the mould. Let me just move it out of the way, put it over there, okay. Now we should be okay. Now we're cooking with gas. I should be fast forwarding. Oh, there's a little bit of overflow. Get that off. If you do have any bits of overflow, you can just trim them with some little cuticle scissors. You could sand them. The nail file don't need to go to too much trouble why aren't you focusing now I've told everybody that you're going to focus focusing on my hand are you it's a bit tricky because I'm watching what I'm doing not trying and not watching through the the screen so I don't really know when it goes out of focus because I'm watching what I'm doing. It's a hair. <clears throat> Alright, I'll do that later. I'm taking too long. Um, now, and then the other thing, oops, work out which is your top. This is my top. And then I'm just going to just follow that top edge on the top 
So my pen is sort of half on and half off so that we don't get a very thick line. I don't like a thick line on the top. I think it just looks more natural just when it's just a little bit across the top there. Oh, this is going to look so good when it's all done. Wow. Look at that. That gold ma matches just beautifully with the veining. And then along there, that's much easier, that side, isn't it? You don't have to worry about all the little nooks and crannies, bumps. There we go. Well, I haven't done this side yet. This side won't take very long. It's a little bit uneven just there because when I put it back in the mold, you know, a little bit of resin, a little bit more resin went over the side. So, but um, you know, if you only have to pour it once, then it'll be nice and smooth and straight. Just finish this bit off as well. Hey, while you're here, while I've got a captive audience, I'll just finish that off, and then we'll see the finished product. There it is. Look at that baby. Isn't it gorgeous? Love it. Love it. If you wanted to, if you didn't want to use the gold veining on that side, you could just run your little whoops, run your little pen around that side there. That side there. Do this side. I'll just do it real quick so we can see what it looks like. So if you're not sure about which side you want to use, um, obviously if you've got the tray with it, you need to use the, the gold side because you can't turn the tray upside down, but that's what it looks like just without the veining with the gold edges. Um, but I, I'm partial to that side. That's what I wanted, so love it. All right, I'm going to finish all of these. It can take me a while and I'll go and set it up outside and take a nice little photo for you. All right, see you then. Don't forget to check out my eBay store for these gorgeous molds.